Aloha and welcome to the video. So in this video, I'm going to be starting a new project. This is going to be a custom sword. So I'm actually super excited for this. Um, every once in a while, I get to do something completely unique and custom. And this is kind of it. So the design inspiration that's coming for this based off of the request is going to be a mix between a katana with some Hawaiian uh, designs and shapes. And then they also wanted some shark teeth that would mimic like a serrated edge. So the general design is in and of itself completely custom. Um, it, this isn't a Hawaiian weapon. It's not a Japanese weapon. It's, it's just fully custom piece, but it mixes a lot of different design influences. And so I'm really excited to start working on it. Uh, the first step there was just trying to get a piece of koa that uh, would fit the dimension. I wanted to use that first piece, but it wasn't quite uh, large enough and so I'm cutting a section out of this cross section that I have here. I noticed some wood rot on the corner so then I went ahead and cut that off. And now that I have a cleaner piece of koa, I can go ahead and mark uh, the portion of the blade that I'm going to be using. I think I decided at this point in time I was going to only cut out about a four inch section of this piece. That way I can still save the majority of uh, this slab for other pieces in the future. Um, so here is the piece here. The blade itself is gonna be roughly 28 inches in length. And then the handle is gonna be about a third of that. Uh, but the handle and blade are not gonna be one solid piece. I'm actually gonna do similar to like a katana where it will have a, a handle that it goes through and then pegs together. And so the first step of the blade is just gonna be making the blade itself. Um, with the tongue section of the handle and then once I get the blade finished at that point I can start working on the cross guard as well as the handle section But I've got a ton of work to do before I even get close to that <laughs> So the before I even start working on any of that I need to uh, Draw out or at least transfer my design template now the design template that I have on that piece of paper is very rough It's not squared up. It's not clean. It's just hand sketched uh, I'm just using it as a general reference for what's going on to here. Um, you could see I drew some center lines and I'm being a lot more careful with the actual sketch up on this because I want the outer lines to be almost exactly the correct pattern. Uh, that way when I go to cut it out with the bandsaw, I don't have as much material that I have to remove and it'll be a little bit easier. I ended up making a small change though that curvature on the blade, um, I didn't quite like how much it kind of went forward. So you can see I started sketching some additional lines on the back. And what I ended up going for was somewhere in between. And I think that worked out well. So I went ahead and cut out this template now on the bandsaw. And I'm left with the overall design structure of it. Uh, but it's still a pretty thick piece of core. And so I'm going to go ahead and draw a center line. And then I removed on one side of it almost an entire section. Um, that was just to thin it down, make it a little bit thinner. And so there's less material for me to have to remove. And it also make it easier for keeping it nice and straight as I go to start shaping. Uh, the shaping on this is going to be a little bit careful, but there's not too much complex structure to it. Um, you can see that big notched section. So that's where the shark teeth are going to go. And then on the front edge is just going to be a simple blade, which is what the client requested. So it's going to be a wooden blade. Obviously, you can't cut anything with that. <laughs> uh, but it's more for aesthetic appeal. Um, and what this piece is going to be, it's more of a show piece. It's a little bit different than most of the work that I do. Most of the work that I do, the pieces that I make are really designed for a function. Uh, so this one is a little bit more of a showpiece. That being said, it's still a pretty thick piece of wood. Um, I mean, it'd be like getting hit with a, you know, a two by four that comes to an edge. <laughs> so it still hurt. But the general shaping on this uh, didn't take too long. Um, I still have some additional shaping to do, but I was able to get most of it complete. Unfortunately, I didn't have too much time this week to work on this piece. And so as I, I was only able to get about this far um, with regards to his general shape. I still have probably a good one or two days left of shaping and then a ton of time sanding. And then once I get down to 
uh, sanding to 320 or probably 220 grit I'll need to start fitting in the handle and cross guard and uh, or I guess it's not a cross guard the cross guard for a katana I forget what that's called I'll have to look that up um, but in any case, uh, that's about as far as I got on this video, but it's already looking pretty awesome. I'm actually really loving this piece. If you're liking it as well, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and make sure to follow up for part two next week's video. I doubt I'll have it finished by then. I have so much work left to do on this piece. It'll most likely be a three-part series. Mahalo nui, and I'll see you next time. Aloha.